Okay guys, this is my grocery store haul uh, slash what do I eat every day video. Um, I'm going to be looking up every now and then because I'm in front of people <laughs> and they're making me nervous. But um, first I'm going to start off with breakfast. So for breakfast I make my eggs with these egg beaters. I got these at the Walmart Supercenter for like $4. Um, for quarter cup, this is one point. What I typically do with my egg whites is I cook them with spinach and usually sometimes I use like um, whole wheat tortillas and I put it in a whole wheat tortilla or I do something like Jenny O breakfast sausages these are turkey sausages um, they're lower in fat and uh, lower in sodium and lower in calories than regular sausage links. Two of these sausage links are two points, so pretty much one sausage link is one point. I typically get the Jenny O 98% fat free um, bacon, but lately I've been wanting something more hearty, so I still got turkey bacon since Austin Meyer, but I got the one that is 50% less fat. And typically two of these is one point. Or three of these. I think it's three of these. Um, when I was at Walmart, I bought this cool brown sugar. It's Splenda. And so one serving is... So serving size, half packed teaspoon. I'm going to have to find out what that means. I haven't used this yet. And it's 10 calories, so it's zero fat, two carbs, no proteins, and um, no fiber. So it's zero points for one serving. Pretty cool. So you can put this with like your oatmeal or cereal if you want to sweeten your cereal. Um, if you're baking something and you want to, uh, there's some pretty cool ways to bake healthy. Um, you want to bake healthy, you can use this brown sugar instead of the regular brown sugar. Um, and let me bring you the whole wheat tortillas that I use. So these are the whole wheat tortillas that I eat. It's Romero uh, whole grain whole wheat flour tortilla um, and one of these is two points <coughs> alright so for lunch typically I eat lunch at work because I work Monday through Friday and typically I don't have time to make myself lunch in the morning so I took it upon myself to make sure that I stayed on track with the points and I bought some lean cuisines I haven't tried this one yet but it looks pretty darn good and on the top, it's really cool. It tells you how many points you're using. So this particular one is seven points. They have tons and tons of things that you can um, eat through the Lean Cuisine. This one's nine points. It's a pizza. So if you're craving pizza, you can have that. This one is a pasta, and it's seven points. And this one's cheese ravioli, and it's six points. And these are about like $2 each, <coughs> which is still cheaper than buying yourself a lunch, which is typically between $6 and $10. Um, let's see. Sometimes if I don't feel like eating or if I'm sick or if I just want to try something different, I will eat soup. This has its Weight Watchers points on it right here. 
It's Progresso Light. This one in particular is chicken and dumpling. Um, and one serving is two points, so the whole can is only four points. So that is typically what I have for lunch. And um, depending on how many points I eat for breakfast, um, if I have points left over or if I'm hungry, still I'll have snacks. Um, or I'll just have that with my meal. So say uh, for lunch I make myself a sandwich, which I typically use these. This is Nature's Own 100% whole wheat sandwich rounds. One bun or two pieces is two points. And then I've never tried these, but I've seen um, a video that Miss D Makeup made. She's on YouTube. And um, she told me that these, this was only 30, 40 calories per slice, and these were really good. So two slices, I'll put in the amount for two slices. Two slices is. Uh, one and a half grams of fat, 18 grams of carbs, 5 grams of protein, 6 grams of fiber. Just so you know, I'm using this Weight Watchers calculator thing. Let me see if I can... There. So I just put in the amount that it tells me, and then it shows me how many points it is. So for two slices it's two points that means it's only one point per slice that is awesome and so if I'll make a sandwich I'll make a sandwich with um, fat free turkey breast this best this is from Walmart um, let's see how much this is and I got this for like three bucks so one slice is going to be one point. There you go. There's the information right there. Um, so I'm assuming each slice is one point. So three slices is three points. These are thick slices and big slices. Now, if you want to add volume to your sandwich so that you don't feel like you're like not eating enough, that um, Buttig 97% fat-free um, sandwich slices, those are super thin and you can stack them up so they can look like there's a lot. And what I typically do is, because I'm lazy, is I'll buy these little like um, lettuce things and I'll put them in my sandwich. This is a premium romaine. This was from Walmart as well. Don't ask me why I shop at Walmart. I never shop at Walmart for groceries, but um, we went to go buy my cat a collar, and I just kept shopping. <laughs> and I found some pretty cool things. Anyway, this was $1.50. And as you can tell, I've been eating it. It's already open. But I'll, I'll put this in, like, my sandwiches and my burgers. Um, if I want to make a salad, I'll, I'll uh, use this for my salad. And obviously, lettuce, romaine lettuce, these kinds of veggies are all zero points. Um, okay, so I think that's lunch. Um, I'll tell you guys snacks after I do dinner, because I want to tell you guys my snacks, because I like to snack a lot. Um, what I found at Walmart was that they sell these whole wheat pastas for like 87 cents or something like that. This is whole wheat spaghetti. Um, it's still the same points plus value as regular pasta, but it is a good food. So it has that little triangle on it. So say you're not tracking that week, you can use use these kinds of foods. Um, uh, and it's called, uh, oh, I forgot what this, that method is called, but pretty much you eat until you're full. And, but you, you can only eat the power foods, um, which is pretty cool. And then this is something that I, I have made for dinner before. Um, it's Boca meatless crumbs. It's kind of like um, 
ground beef and I've made salads with this, I've made sandwiches with this, um, I put this in pasta obviously with the marinara sauce in it, um, it's only two points plus value per serving and one serving is half a cup. That. And I think I got this for four dollars. <clears throat> this I've never tried this before, but this is called um, Boca Original Chicken Meatless Patties. They're like um, what's it called? Anyway, one of these is four points plus values. I got this particular one for two ninety nine, and then. This is marinara sauce. Um, if you're going to make pasta, make it with the red sauces. The red sauces are lower in calories, lower in fat, just lower in points with values if you're on Weight Watchers. Um, and I believe one serving of this is two points. So, marinara sauce. And I love marinara sauce. It tastes so good. I don't really like the white sauces. So bread choices, carb choices. Um, I always get whole wheat and I try to get low calorie. Um, we barbecue at, at this house a lot every Sunday at least and uh, sometimes I get in trouble because or I put myself in trouble because I don't prepare myself to um, eat my healthy food. But I went to the store and I bought these whole wheat hamburger patties, or I mean hamburger buns, silly, and one roll is, I, I want to say it's three points, but I'm going to check, three points, yeah, yeah, good. And one of these, these are hot dog buns, is also three points. So that is all of that. Um, and then usually like when my family has burgers or we're barbecuing or something, I'll buy like um, turkey, um, turkey hot dogs, um, the Jenny O ones. Or I will um, buy these Boca soy burgers. Let me bring them. I just um, ate my last one. So I threw it away. <laughs> but one uh, soy bo Boca burger is two points. Um, and I don't put cheese on it. Um, sometimes I'll put Parmesan cheese just to flavor it. But um, so a Boca burger with my sandwich thins um, and lots of veggies and mustard is only four points. It's way better than a nine-point burger. <coughs> Next. These are my favorite. This, this, this is where I used to get in trouble um, because I used to snack a lot. I used to eat tons and tons and tons of chips. Like, I could eat chips all day, every day. Um, I would eat them when I was happy, sad, bored, whatever. I would just eat chips all the time. Anyway. Um, these are called Pretzel Crisp. There's two different flavors. Um, the other one I have, I keep at work because that one's my favorite and that one's called the Everything Pretzel. Um, this is Garlic Parmesan. One serving of these is three points. And this particular one is ten crackers and my Everything Pretzels are eleven crackers. So eleven crackers is three points. And then typically what I will do is I will eat it with these Weight Watchers cream cheese. And guys, you can find these at any local Walmart. Um, Walmart Super Center. This um, is two points plus value per serving, which is two tablespoons. Good snack that is crisp like chips, salty like chips, and just really good in my opinion. Pickles. And no points plus values. Super good. A lot of people don't like pickles, but I love pickles. I also found this at my local Walmart. It's the uh, White Watcher String Cheese. One of these is one point. You can add this to sandwiches, um, burgers, um, 
salads, anything that where you would typically add cheese that doesn't need to be melted or shredded, um, or you can shred it yourself. Um, but um, this is good string cheese. I just recently bought these um, at Walmart as well. They're a dollar each. Um, I kind of bought them for my daughter and myself because um, she uh, has to take her lunch to school. And so this is apple slices with fruit dip. The apples are zero points, but you got to add everything together in this situation because you do have dip inside of it. And so I believe one serving of this is two points. It's the same with the carrots. This carrots with ranch. One whole thing of these is two points. Um, I love fruits, and right now what I have are grapes. I just bought this yesterday, and it's almost completely gone. Our whole family loves fruits, so we will buy on Monday. We'll buy oranges, apples, grapes, bananas, and by Friday everything's gone. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you. Okay. I love chorizo. I love Mexican food in general. Um, I found soy chorizo. And I found that this is the best one. It's the guy with the sombrero. It is called Reynaldo's Vegetarian Soy Chorizo. Um, one serving of this is two points. Um, and so what I try to do is I try to mix it with a lot of egg whites so that I'm not eating so much chorizo but I still get the flavor of it. Um, this is light and fit yogurt. I will eat this for a snack as well. I think one of these is two points. These are the best alternative for chips out there. These are Special K cracker chips. These have the flavor of sour cream and onion. The best thing about this is that you can eat 27 crackers or chips and that's one serving. 27 crackers. 27 crackers. No joke and it's only three points whereas if I ate eleven ruffles potato chips it's four points I think I would have rather go with this one mm. popcorn I love popcorn this is healthy pop three points per bag this is tapioca, rice pudding, whatever you want to call it, it's two points per um, little jar. And ice cream fixes. I'm not really into ice cream, but for some reason lately I've been um, craving like cold sweet stuff. So I went to Target and this, these two ice cream packs are on sale. They're three points. These, this one is three points. Um, I, it comes with 12 bars for $3.38. It was on sale. And these are English Toffee Crunch bars. See? The little Target. It says $3.38. Typically these are like five or six bucks. And these guys one bar is two points, right? No way. One bar is one point? Because it says one serving is two bars. What? I only eat one of these. And I've been counting them as two. But these are so good. Super good. Love these. Um, and this was also on sale for three thirty-eight when I went to Target. Okay, I think that's it. Um, I think the most important thing to do, um, especially if you're living with other people who are not on the same weight loss journey as you, 
is to buy your own food and designate a certain area for that food to be yours. Hey guys, this is my food. You guys can eat whatever you want. Um, feel free to eat my food, but replenish it, please. Um, and, you know, I probably spent about, in a month, like $300 on groceries. Um, which is not that bad for my family. I have a family of five. <coughs> And quite often times I find that people actually enjoy the food that I buy, the healthy food that I buy, the food that I make. Like one time I made my stepdad um, sandwiches with the, with the meatless boca um, crumbs and he liked it. He didn't even know that it was fake. And one serving is three points. Yeah. Um, and I think that by letting people know, hey, I'm not going to eat this food, this is the food that I bought, you know, it makes them curious, um, especially if you're successful in your weight loss, and it makes them want to try it. And so, um, I live with seven other people, and although it's tough sometimes, because my family's lifestyle is not the same as my, or my parents' and their family, their lifestyle is not the same as mine, my family's lifestyle, um, I find that sometimes it's hard. So like Sunday barbecues when everybody's bringing like ribs, got an asada, um, um, got an itas, you know, fried beans or um, chips and dip, you know, um, I have to make sure that I do the right thing and that I'm well prepared for those kinds of situations. If I don't prepare myself, I'm I'm just setting myself up for failure. Um, so I just hope I hope that this gave you guys some ideas on things to buy at the store or how to change what you're eating. Um, it's simple changes from white and rich bread to whole wheat bread, um, from chips to um, baked um, baked items. You can even have baked chips which I don't think is is as good but um, things like these pretzel thins or the Special K I highly recommend that Special K those Special K chips they're so good or you know getting like skinny cow ice cream instead of the the real deal there's not much of a flavor change unless you have you know this pellet that can completely tell there's not that much of, of a change when you're going from you know, 2% fat to non-fat. Um, when you're going from white tortillas, you know, flour tortillas to whole wheat tortillas. Um, when you're going from um, regular eggs to egg beaters. Um, one thing that I do miss about eating regular eggs, and, and which I do indulge in sometimes because one egg is two points. So it's not that big of a deal if I want to indulge because I have those 49 extra points per week. But one thing I do miss is I know some people are going to find me weird, but I love egg yolk. Like, I will cook my egg over easy, I'll get a tortilla, and I'll, like, let the egg yolk spew out or whatever, and I'll eat it with my tortilla because I think it's so good. Um, so that's one thing that I miss about that. But, see, those things, those in those types of situations, don't deprive yourself. Don't overindulge, but indulge. Um... So yeah, I really hope that this helped you. I'm sorry I didn't have any vegetable um, items for you because I cooked everything already. Um, but typically what I do is I buy like canned vegetables or frozen vegetables. I'm not really good with fresh vegetables because Lord knows if that day, if that week I'm actually going to use that item. I'd rather have it frozen and me decide when I want to use it. Um, plus, when you freeze things, um, it um, helps to maintain the nutrients. Pretty cool. Um, I think that's it. If you guys have any questions, concerns, ideas, anything that you want to let me know, just go ahead and um, leave a comment down below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And if, Anyway, um, I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.